to take the first shot the from the New York Islanders, Vegas! Oh, Kevin, if we Let's suited you up tonight, could you have won this? Well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Hedman's obviously the favorite. He's the big guy. He's got that. Hedman shattered by hand with a slap shot, so I know firsthand how hard his shot is. But a uh, couple forwards in here that are sleepers, you just never know. Like, how many times has Timo Meyer took a slap shot in a game? I've never seen it, and so it could, right could surprise us. Yeah, trying to get that extra momentum as you can see Pelic heading back almost to the blue line, get that momentum coming in and trying to get it through. The problem Hedman's had at times is shooting it too high and you don't get a good reading. I, I think ideally you want it about a foot off the ice right in the middle of the net so it gets the reading that you need. And Pellet's a defensive defenseman. He's not a guy on the power play taking the bomb from the top, so you really don't know what to expect from him here. Well, it used to be the domain of the defenseman. I'm wondering, got a lot more smaller mobile defensemen now instead of the big guys like Ally Afraidy of the past. The game has changed. You know, now guys slide across the top and get a wrister in as opposed to Al McKinnis just pairing one like that. Pelican 89 4 to start. That was maybe a little bit high, like you guys yeah. talked about. It, it sailed on him, it came up, he lost speed. 89.4. Having a tremendous year as a defensive defenseman, even without Ryan Pollock, his usual partner on the shutdown pairing for the Islanders. Lower to sight okay. and raise the bar there. That's more like it. And Pellick 102 2. And Kevin, you said it on that first one. It was kind of a high riser that doesn't get the reading that you need. That one was perfect. He got great contact through it at about a, just a few it's inches off the sure ice as this one went right we'll into the monitor. Good contact, hit it about three inches behind the puck. Guess who's on the second unit power play now when he starts back <laughs> yeah, out? Come back. Mentioned 22 of 25 winners defensemen. The three forwards were Alexander Ovechkin, Sergei Fedorov, Freddie Modine, and none of them had shots as hard as what we just saw from Adam Pellick. I'm with Kevin on this one. Timo Meyer coming off a big season so far, but you're right, I don't see him doing this too often. Five goal game earlier this year against Los Angeles. So, like Pellick, a, a low start, but See if he can lower his sights. Kev, yeah, that looked like a bit of a knuckleball, wasn't it? It didn't come off his stick well. Honestly, like if, if this was the hardest shot for wrist shots, I think he would win it between these four. But like you guys said, he, I don't think he takes slap shots too often. It didn't look very comfortable in that first attempt. Sharks leading score. That one went high Whoa. and he gets it over 100. 100.1, 100. but Pellick continues to lead. You know, it's interesting. I think a lot of people coming in weren't expecting to see three digits on anybody. I'm not sure they were expecting these, this quartet to be able to get over 100 here. You got the first two able to establish that. That was a much better contact. Look at right, oh, about five inches behind the puck. He just powered right through that one and got a lot on it. Saw so Roman Josi in the fountain faceoff. I wondered who the hardest shooting Swiss player was. and. Uh, Meyer makes his case here. So Pellick the leader, and next up is the favorite, Victor Hedman. And he's your leader. He mentioned to Colby Armstrong, he had a couple bar down that didn't register, but uh, he hit that in the sweet spot. Yeah, I think without question, he's just trying to get it in the right area. And again, what you notice is just how far behind the puck they put their stick, let the shaft do the work, get a good hard whip on it. And that was a great first shot. Teammate watching as Hedman improves the total 103.2 for the Norris Trophy winner in 2018, the Conn Smythe winner in 2020. And then listen to this, yeah. listen to the Tom Wilson factor now. Can you imagine if he ends up winning this event somehow, what the crowd's gonna do? I almost want to see it happen. I want to see the, 
There we go. The anticipation is there, isn't it, Kim? And he loves it as much as sure anybody. I mean, everyone loves a villain. Yep. Everyone loves a villain. Spoken from experience down there. Oh, absolutely. In the saddle dome. Uh, Wilson's first is 96.8. So he can ramp it up. That was actually a great shot. If there was a goalie in the net, <laughs> he might have I think had a that chance. was a goal. Yeah, one of his better, huh? So 103.2 with Evgeny Kuznetsov cheering on his teammate. And lets it fly wow. over 100, so all four get into triple digits. But Victor Hickman is your winner. I think that was probably the favorite going in, number 77. And I can tell you, though, Vegas odds, I, I don't think anybody would have thought all four would have got into the 100-plus, but Wilson bared down on that second one and was able to get it over the 100 number. But it's Hedman with 103.2 that is the winner. Back in 2020, being this competition, Hedman, his best was 102.1. He was better tonight than he's with Kevin. Victor, I know exactly how that feels. 103, heavy. When Tom Wilson went, though, was there a little bit of you that wanted to almost see him win with everybody booing? I mean, I knew what happened here, and, uh, you know, but you still get that inner, you want to win, so. But I know he's got a bomb, so. I even know he went up a couple of, uh, I think he used Ico stick, so he went up to a 102 flex, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was close, but couldn't get there. What do you got going there with your stick? I'm a 122, and that's what I use when I play. So I stick with that, and maybe next time I'll try. If I get here another time, I'll try something a little bit more different. you got to make sure that a four never wins this event again, please. Exactly. So, you know, the Demon has had a good run, and, you know, Webb's not being here, and Big C not being here, you know, kind of opened up uh, for us other guys to, to get in there. So that was fun. Great job, buddy. Thanks. Um, I don't know. A thunderbolt from four, and Victor Hedman has the hardest shot at the NHL skills in 2022.